Hey crew, this is Tane from Explode Creative here for a tutorial on the pen tool and some of its more advanced features. What I have here is an image I'd like to trace out uh, using the pen tool. Uh, this is simply a layer uh, that has been locked so I, I don't I can't really affect it anymore and I've just put a new layer up on top of that so I can just trace upon that without affecting the original image. So with the pen tool selected, I'm going to start uh, tracing that little half circle there. And what I want to remember is that I'm going to start from, you know, one side of the circle. But I want to I want to make a curve from there to here, just in the middle of that half circle. So just like that. And that curve matches quite nicely. And seeing as that's a, a nice curve, it's going to continue its curve all the, all the way over to here if I just hit one left click. Yeah, that's quite nice. It's... Not exactly perfect though, it's it's uh, a little bit uh, tight on the outside here. What I can do is, just to adjust that curve a little bit more, I can hold down my Alt key. I'm going to hold down my Alt key on my keyboard, and I'm going to click on this handle, hold click on this handle, and just adjust a little bit more, see? And I can just adjust it to, yeah, it's a little bit nicer there, so that's good to go. So, here we are at this point. We're going to continue with some left clicks. Ah, oh, well there's a little mistake there. And what I can do is I can just use the arrow keys on my keyboard just to move that around. Just using my arrow keys on the keyboard. And there we go, that looks good. I'm going to continue my clicks around. Just making sure that connects up. You, know, you make sure that when, if you want to continue from a certain point, that you make sure that's selected just by clicking it. And I'm going to click over there, that's good to go. We need to do another half circle, so again, we're going to use our little um, quarter of a circle example. It's kind of like clock faces, where you start from the 12 and you go around to 3, and then you continue your curve right around to a 6. And yeah, that's it's not looking too good to me, so again, I'm just going to go ahead and hold ALT down on the keyboard and adjust that curve just there. And that uh, that adjusts one side of the curve without affecting the other, so that's quite nice to have that ALT key shortcut. I'm just going to click here and select that point so I can continue the line across to here. And here we go, we've just got a nice little tight half circle here to finish off. Almost done. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you something else, some really, another really handy little tip is that if I put a point somewhere, I go, ah, oh, I didn't want the point there, I wanted, to, wanted it to go nicely on the, uh, on the edge of that half circle, so that was a mistake. What I can do is I can keep my mouse held, the click held down, I'm going to hold the space bar on my keyboard as well as keeping the mouse held down. So I've got the mouse and the keyboard space key held down right now, and I can just move my mouse around to reposition where I want that point. And I'm going to have it nicely in the middle of the semicircle there. And just adjust my curve a little bit more as well. And that looks pretty looks pretty good. I'm going to put the last point over to here. Oh yeah, that's cool, but again, hold, alt, and adjust one side of the curve, and that's looking pretty good. Uh, select that one, do another straight line. Nice. Nice. And here's one more tip. If you accidentally do a couple of straight lines, oh heck, look at that. They should be that should be a nice big curve. You can do this to a point that is a corner, a corner point. You can actually um, you can hold Alt and then click on a point, hold click and it'll give you the ability to cr to turn those that straight point into a curve. So just holding down my click and my alt key on the keyboard, I can adjust that into a nice curve, looking good. And back to this point to finish off. Well, there you go. There's a couple of little tips there for you, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, please subscribe or um, I'll be putting some links in
for some other tutorials for you to enjoy. And uh, thanks, I'm out.